History repeats itself. The rise and fall of nations, societies, and people are each a natural part of the world's turning. Time and time again, we suffer the similar tragedies. But is this destiny, or can we alter this reality? We're in a new paradigm. With digitization and globalization, there's a unique opportunity to generate both diversity and greater connection between people who've been separated forever by race, religion, and geography. But at the same time, those who are most central to making the world smaller are inexorably making themselves larger and ever more intrusive. Technology, with the potential to boost both creativity and independence, is now increasingly fostering levels of cultural and economic concentration that more resembles the feudal past once thought left behind. We can already see the emergence of a class structure that resembles that of medieval times, led by the wealthy tech oligarchs occupying the aristocratic apex, supported by a new clerical elite of media, academia, and elite public servants, while the global middle class increasingly devolves towards serfdom. These trends are mounting, made worse by concerns over pandemics and climate change. The choice, though, is still ours. We can keep heading toward a feudalized future, or we can formulate a more expansive vision that both preserves the middle class and expands opportunity to ever more citizens. Join world-renowned author Joel Kotkin and tech entrepreneur Marshall Toplansky as they explore what can be done to liberate the global middle class. Visit joelkotkin.com forward slash feudal future podcast for all episodes, show notes, and to subscribe to the show. And to read more about these ideas, you can pick up a copy of Joel Cocken's new book, The Coming of Neo-Feudalism, A Warning to the Global Middle Class, just released by Encounter Publishers.